Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mara Hernandez and my artist presentation will be about Man Ray. In the side, you could see a photograph of him. Now let's go to the next slide. Let's get some information about him. He was born in August 27, 1890 in Philadelphia. Died in November 18, 1976 in Paris, France. Cause of his death was a lung infection. His wife, Juliet Man Ray, she passed away in January 17, 1991. And her cause of death was a heart attack. You could see from the image right there, it's a gravestone. And you can see um, an image of themselves. Now let's go to the next slide. Now get, let's get some information about Man Ray. Man Ray was an artist. The type of artist he was, was a photographer and a painter. He lived through the two world wars. His inspiration artists were Pablo Picasso, Wesley, Kandinsky and Marcel Dutchham. From the side, you can see three photographs of the inspiration that he got from the lovely artist. Now, let's go to the next slide. Now, what type of artist he was? What is Man's Ray style, you may say? Man Ray style. His style was kind of weird, people may say, but... It has a touch of surrealism. Some say Mr. Ray takes some erotic portraits of women with different interests. So I guess he didn't care how the women look like. Now let's go to the next slide. Manstrom's artwork, Black and White 1926, Glass Tear 1932, and Dora Mart 1936. My personal favorite would be Dora Mart 1936 because it just shows the motion, the story, and the lighting. It's just... Mm perfect that's all i had to say about that photograph now let's go to the next slide now man's race call it has never been my object to record my dreams just to determination a determination to realize them by man ray now let's go to the next slide man's race, more artwork a grace volume 1926 solderation 1930 one and space writing 1937 my personal favorite would be acceleration because like i said from the other photograph it shows emotion the lighting is just perfect and you could tell her story it's just perfect i like how he did the photographs now let's go to the next slide interesting facts about man race childhood the fact that man ray was born in a in a russian and jewish family in philadelphia Man Ray's mother was a seamstress and his father was a tailor. Man Ray moved to New York and spent most of his childhood there, but he had to keep his family background a secret. The photograph that I chose is just like, he feels alone. Now let's go to the next slide, part two of Man Ray's childhood. When Man Ray was in high school, he got into a freehand drawing and other interesting techniques. He had excelled in his art class and graduated in the year 1908. In 1912, he enrolled in fewer schools and developed into a serious artist, offering strategy and other photographers introduced Man Ray to photography. Now to the next slide, Rayograph. Man Ray created the Rayograph in the year 1920. How was the Rayograph made, you may ask? He made the rail guy without a camera. How he placed an object such as a thumbstep, coal of wire, and more other circular forms and directly on the sheet of the paper that mostly to expose into the light. These photographs, I'm not gonna lie, I just like them. It's, it's so interesting. I love the fact that it shows some of the story, some violence, love, and just a hobby or something. That's my opinion. I don't know about yours, but that's my opinion. Now let's go to the next slide. Master's Art, Ray Miller, 1930. Machine, 1934. In Peace, 1938. My favorite is Lee Miller, 1930, because I, I just don't know. She looks really great. I love the fact how she's serious. Now let's go to the next slide conclusion. In conclusion, even though Man Ray passed away, his art and photographs will still be alive forever. I just say that because it should be remembered forever. His art is just amazing. And that's the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoy. Bye.